Good morning, everyone. So here we are doing the massage and wrap again. So today's Monday morning and I am supposed to be wrapped for three days in a row and I get measured on Wednesday. So I went ahead and did my own wrap yesterday. I really didn't. I was going to, but I wore a compression garment, my old one. So just it's going to be what it is. So Anyway, so I'm going in to get my massage, um, get wrapped. I have a crazy busy day today. I'm trying to have a positive attitude this time around. And um, woohoo, here we go, round two. So I just left um, my therapy. She did a massage and then uh, she wrapped my leg. I don't know if you can see. I'm standing out in public so I'm not gonna pull my skirt all the way up but I'm here at Thornton and um, I saw a different therapist she wrapped a, a quite a bit different she wrapped more like I'm used to wrapping um, and uh, around my ankles she left some gaps so so I'm not in uh, it's not painful at all today so I've got high hopes of uh, getting through this the next couple of days well, I'm at the end of Monday, uh, my first day wrapped, um, round two wrapped. Um, it actually went pretty good. I'm feeling really good. She used KT tape underneath the wrap, um, which I tried before without, you know, it, the way I taped it a little different than she did. So I'm excited to see how it, um, how it's going to look. She wrapped it, um, and it lasted all day. I mean, it's uh, it's the end of the day. I'm laying in bed with my leg up because I'm feeling a little uh, tired, and uh, you know, it's lugging this big old leg around and kind of limping because you know it is what it is. Um, I think kind of wore me out today, but I'm not in any pain. It's not pinching anywhere. It didn't fall and slip and bunch up. I mean. The top of my thigh probably, you know, rode down a couple of inches, but not to where it came down and, um, you know, rubbed, uh, you know, bul buckled up under my knee or under my ankle. So, um, like I said, I obviously I'm sleeping like this tonight, so that's never fun, but I'm not in any kind of pain. Um, like I said, last time I did this, it was extremely painful and, um, uh, and I was, of course, being, you know, kind of a little bit of an attitude about it. But uh, so, so far, so good. Um, tomorrow I'll get up, shower, uh, roll my bandages, head back into UCSD, um, do the massage, get wrapped again, and uh, go through one more day. Um, but I just wanted to check in because uh, I'm actually, this is the first time in the evening that I'm not just completely wiped out and in pain. Um, I am wiped out, but um, like I said, you know, when you're moving all the lymphatic fluids up, um, it's just, it's exhausting to have to drag this, uh, this sexy beast around. Um, so I just kind of propped a pillow under my knee and, and I'm just kind of chilling right now because it has been, a, it has been a long day, but, uh, all in all, it's been a good day. So, uh, all right, well, um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, so one more video tonight. Um, yes, it's still um, Monday. Um, my leg is still doing good. Um, I am just resting because I've had kind of a busy day. Um, and my, you know, the wraps are on. So I'm feeling a little bit just sore and whatever. So I've got my leg up on a pillow. And I'm sitting here on Facebook. Um, I started a, a support group for lymphedema several years ago. It's called Lymph World. And um, the reason I started it was because when I started it, which I want to say was like eight, nine years ago, I don't even know. Um, it was right when Facebook was starting to get popular. Um, but there was no information about lymphedema anywhere. Um, doctors still don't know much, but I mean, there was nothing out there. So I started the support group and, you know, I actually bonded and made really good friends with several people in that original group. Over the years, I've kind of not been on there as much as, as, uh, as, as I was in the beginning. Part of it was, um, you know, when, when I got really sick, 
and uh, really thought I was just going to die. Like I literally, I'm not exaggerating, uh, thought that was the end. I found this holistic doctor, changed my life. Um, I realized that if I took control of my condition and I took responsibility for my actions, I could control my lymphedema. And uh, I was so excited and I got on there and I was like, hey, you know, you can eat right, you can do things that, you know, and a lot of the feedback that I got at that time was really negative. Nobody wanted help. Everybody just wanted to know how to get free stuff and how to have people feel sorry for themselves. And so I kind of backed away because I was really frustrated because I don't want people to feel sorry for me. I don't even want people to know I have lymphedema. Um, it's been just within the last year that I've really come out and publicly talked about lymphedema. And that's because I have saw such brave um, videos out there. Um, Learn is, you know, really pushing, you know, uh, people to, to tell their stories because people, no one's going to know about lymphedema if we're all embarrassed or shy or quiet or whatever. So... I thought, you know, how selfish of me to hide my leg when, you know, I saw this one girl and I'm sorry, I don't know your name. So if you happen to see this video, please don't be offended. I think you're the bravest woman in the world. Um, she had lymphedema and she did like a boudoir shoot, like a sexy, almost naked shoot. And I was like, oh my God, like, like I don't even walk out of the house in shorts. And she's like, you know, I was just in tears. I was so moved by it. So that's when I kind of started stepping up and I started telling my story and I, you know, it's always been on my heart uh, to help people with lymphedema. Um, but now I kind of realize that on top of helping people with lymphedema, it's, it's our responsibility to um, let people know what lymphedema is because legislation isn't going to change. Insurance isn't going to start paying for the care that we need if everybody thinks that compression garments are only for cosmetic things like people have to understand that it's this is you know this is our freaking life this is our immune system this is so much deeper than oh i have a little bit of a swollen leg really um and that's not even talking about the emotional effect that lymphedema has on people but i know i'm preaching to the choir because i imagine if you're watching this you have lymphedema but this is this is what I just realized, because I was just on Facebook, and um, the therapist kind of kind of made me feel guilty today when I was in there. She was like, well, your leg's not that bad. It's not that swollen. And she was kind of, I don't know how to put it, like, like guilting me because I was doing good. Kind of like, well, why are you here? And I kind of feel like I've... I'm here because I've worked so hard to not have that leg that's three times bigger than my other leg, to not have, um, to, to be able to walk across the, the room without pain, to be able to sleep at night without tossing and turning and rolling over and trying to get comfortable every two minutes. I'm here because I know that I'm not where I want to be and I'm asking for help because I've been trying to do this 100% on my own for the last six years and I realize um, I don't want to spiral completely out of control and get that big leg again and I don't want to get sick and I don't want to start getting cellulitis infections again and I don't want to start going to the hospital every, every month and being on antibiotics. I don't want that. I want to stop it now. And anyway, she kind of made me feel like I don't know. And I, I, I looked at her and I said, well, yeah, I, I know it looks good. Like I've been taking care of it. That doesn't change the fact that, you know, I need to be wrapped for three days so that I can get measured so that I can get a compression garment, you know? And, um, I don't know. It just really, it really bothered me. And then tonight I'm sitting here being lazy, which is something I rarely do, which is actually kind of nice to, to make myself sit on on my butt and just relax. It's good for me. But I was on the lymphedema group and, and it reminded me how little information is still out there and how much help people still need and how people, okay, this is where I just like lost my mind. This is why I'm recording this. I'm just going to tell you something was said about manual lymph drainage massages. 
And this lady commented, she's like, oh yeah, my insurance doesn't pay for that. I had that done years ago. It was really nice. I didn't even know what to say right now because my insurance didn't pay for anything either. Um, but I learned how to do it myself. And every day for the last 10 years, I've been diagnosed for 10, 10 years, almost 11 years. Every single day, even when I was quote unquote in remission, when my leg was in good shape, every single day of my life for the last 10 plus years, I have done at least a quick manual lymph drainage massage on myself. When I was bad, I would do an intense massage every morning and every night. I would get up, I would shower, I would do a massage, and then, um, whoa, I about dropped the thing, sorry. Um, and then I would put my compression garment on. At the end of the day, I would take my compression garment off. I would do a massage. And then I would put this sexy guy on, my old friend here. Every single day, I used to do this for seven years. I didn't go into the therapist to have this done. Right now, that's the hoops that my insurance is, is making me jump through um, so that they'll pay for my compression garment. So I'm going in, I'm having it done. But for seven years, Every single day I did this myself. You don't have an excuse. Educate yourself, take care of yourself. You don't have to be laying in bed in pain. Yeah, it's hard, it's freaking hard work. But, and yeah, it's nice when somebody else does it, but these are things we can, you can learn. It's not impossible. I have this machine, it's called, it's called a chi machine. Um, and it's something I bought before I was diagnosed. Um, and you can see how old this sucker is. I've had this thing for probably 15 years. I think I paid 600 bucks for it. And I lay on it. Um, it basically rocks your feet back and forth and, um, and moves the lymphatic, lymphatic fluids. Um, I do that maybe once or, once or twice a week. Um, but when I was bad, I did it all the time. So anyway, I'm just sitting here on, on Facebook, um, on my, on my, on my site, my lymph world site. And I'm like losing my mind because nothing's changed. You know, in the last seven years, people still aren't educated. They don't realize they can take care of themselves. So I'm just putting you guys on warning. You're going to be getting a lot more videos and, um, I'm going to be making a lot more noise because you are ultimately responsible for yourself. If your insurance doesn't, I'm a hundred percent with you. I'm fighting with you. I'm calling my Congress person. I'm calling everybody. I went to the Senator's office. I'm doing everything. Insurance does need to help us, but until they do take care of yourself. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just out of my mind right now because I can't believe that, um, that I just almost got this like guilt scolding from a therapist because I'm taking good care of myself. And, and then I go on the site tonight and it's like, I read this well, yeah, it'd be nice if I could have a massage. It's like, do your own massage. Do it, do it all the time. Drink water. Oh my God, like how hard is that? Drink water. You don't even know how much that helps. Um, and I recommend high alkaline water. I um I drink two of these guys a day. Um, I don't always drink this brand, but I love this bottle. So um, I fill it up. I get the five gallon of uh, True Alk, I think it's called. Um, I get it delivered to my house. Um, but there's several brands. Trader Joe has a high alkaline water that's decent, um, and it's it's probably one of the cheaper ones. But um, drink water, do massages, take care of yourself, learn, educate yourself, ask questions. Um, obviously I'm coming back to the group and being more, um, more vocal because I I'm literally out of my mind right now reading these comments and, uh, realizing that nothing's changed. Nobody, nobody understands. Nobody knows. Um, and, <sighs> I don't know why I thought that anything changed because medical professions still don't even know anything about lymphedema. I mean, thank God we've got a handful of amazing therapists that actually give a shit 
and actually try and actually care. But most doctors, they don't know and they don't give a shit because we're not one of those diseases that are going to get anybody rich. Um, so there, I said it. Anyway, um, I'm done with my vent for tonight. Sorry, guys. Love you. Mwah. So just finished getting my um, wrap done, my massage and my wrap. So everything went well. Resi did an awesome job. It feels comfortable. Um, obviously, um, you know, how it feels right now and how it feels later, sometimes different, but that's okay. So I'm headed home. Also, I had her measure me for my Juzo garment. I know that the insurance company is going to demand that the other people do it, but um, at least I have something so I can kind of make sure that uh, what they're doing tomorrow is, is accurate um, because I do want, I want uh, Juzo to have the most accurate measurements possible so that I can get the most comfortable garment possible. All right, um, I'll check in with you guys later. So today was a pretty good day. I got wrapped this morning. Um, my legs irritating me, of course, because it's just irritating. I had to rewrap when I got home. It didn't stay well. And I had a lot of work to do today. I um, had a lot of clients. So this evening I decided to treat myself and go to my favorite place in the whole world to eat peace pies. So. Um, I'm here in OB and uh, they made me this delicious creation um, because they didn't have what I wanted on the menu so um, they gave me some special treatment and, and created something just for me so I'm feeling really special um, and uh, feeling good about life tomorrow morning I go in to get measured so hopefully that goes well and uh, then uh, next time you hear from me hopefully I'll have my um, my Juzo garment in and um, also um, my night garment should be coming in, you know, once we get it measured and ordered. So, all right, well, wish me luck. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to finish eating my wonderful meal here. Good morning. So today I go in to get measured. Um, my leg looks pretty good. I took off the KT tape this morning, um, shaved my legs. Woo um, anyway. So yeah, I'm going to uh, to go get measured and cross your fingers that these guys are uh, way uh, way better than. Uh, than <laughs> hey, Sammy. Hey. Um, way better than my last experience. So all right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, so I got here today. <laughs> Went in, and um, they said, "Oh, we don't contract with." Juzo, we can use a different brand. And I said, well, I was specifically told I could get that. So <clears throat> I called my contact with my insurance company and she said, let me talk to him, blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay, well, let me just get my night garment um, measured for my night garment because they did carry that, they said. And then they went over to look at it and blah, blah, blah. Bottom line, um, I have to come back to get measured for the night garment. They can't do it today. I did have an appointment today with them. Um, so, another three days of the multi-layer compression. Another three days of... So... The reason I'm sharing this is because people don't understand what people with lymphedema and other chronic conditions have to go to go through just to be able to walk, just to be able to manage their day-to-day -day life. And then the insurance companies make it almost impossible. It feels like the insurance companies would rather that we just die because it would be much cheaper for them than to actually take care of us and help us. And I feel like this, and I know I have it way better than a lot of people because I've educated myself and I take care of myself. And a lot of people don't have the education to know how to take care of themselves, to, to do things, and it...
<laughs> it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating to have to be fighting this, I mean. Having to take the time off work, having to walk around all wrapped up, being uncomfortable, being tired, hurting, just trying to make it through my day, doing this, and then... And then having to start all over a third time. It sucks. And people wonder why I gave up on Western medicine and why I just take care of myself and why I don't even bother to do all this. And I finally got to the point where I felt I needed help and I, it took everything in me to go back to the therapist. I didn't want to do this. Now I've got to start from square one again. Okay, so a little more than two hours has passed since my little nervous breakdown crying, oh my God, my life is over, I hate this. Um, so after I finished uh, recording, I thought, you know what, I have um, the insurance medical director's private line, I think I'm gonna make a phone call. So I called Dr. Farron and I said, hey, <laughs> You told me this was all taken care of and you know I just went through this wrapping again and I get here and uh, they tell me that they don't work with Juzo, they don't work with the other place and they can't measure me for a custom garment today, they have to reschedule. And she's like, no, 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 let me talk to them. So anyway, after lots of passing my phone around to different people, um, they were able to measure me um, they still don't uh, work with my day garment, the, the brand that I wanted, but they uh, did measure me for my night garment. They measured me for, we measured really good. So um, whatever those measurements are, we're going to be able to use. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm feeling very confident. Um, they were awesome here. Um, the guy that measured me, um, you know, I worked with him and helped him and, and he helped me and uh, we got, uh, I'm confident that we got good measurements. So uh, a few weeks when I get my uh, garment in or however long it takes, um, they're saying, you know, next week, the week after, I don't know. Anyway, so when it gets in, um, I'll at least have a night garment to wear and uh, I've got all the measurements. Uh, so um, that just goes to show you like um, kind of what I've been saying for 10 years or better. It's like it's ridiculous that you have to fight for yourself, um, but you do, you have to fight for yourself every second. Um, I'm sure it's, it's like that with other things, but it's especially like that with lymphedema because I don't know, I swear, um, it's, they don't know what's going on. They don't know, um, who's paying for it, what's paying for it. If, if you are lucky enough to that your insurance will pay for something, uh, like I am, but still look at the runaround that I've been getting um, just to get a basic garment just so I can go through life. Um, I don't know, it's, it's a broken system. Um, and you know, whenever there's a squeaky wheel, Peggy's gotta have something to say about it, so. Um, uh, that's that's what's going on that's where I'm at right now so um, I, I'm pretty stubborn about not gonna do this three-day multi compression bandage again uh, to get measured um, I am gonna go in next week and the week after and so on and and do my uh, my maintenance because I'm gonna jump through all the hoops the insurance has asked me to jump through because I can't complain about them not doing what they said they're doing if I'm not willing to jump through their stupid hoops. So I'm jumping through their silly hoops and um, hopefully um, I'm gonna hold them accountable to doing what they told me they would do. So, you know, we have insurance, we have insurance for this, not, not just so that we can have a little extra card in our wallet. We have insurance so that when we have medical issues, um, that's supposed to be taken care of. So anyway, 
um, enough about that. So I'm going to go home now. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. And yes, it took over two and a half hours. Um, my appointment was at um, nine o'clock this morning. Um, it's like, I don't know what time it is. Um, it's 1149 right now and, and I'm just in my car getting ready to leave. Um, again, that's a whole day a whole morning's work. I had to, you know, reschedule people and, and do things and, you know, but for my free medically covered, you know, which I've already wasted three, six days in wrapping and, and massage and two days, um, you know, two mornings to, to get measured. So it, it's kind of ridiculous, but I think you guys understand that I feel this is ridiculous. I think if I've said anything over and over and over, it's this is ridiculous. All right, so uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.